Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what is the difference between Vegas Pro 18 and DaVinci Resolve 16 because of course I have this mini series going on right now where we compare multiple different softwares such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, you know, right now uh, DaVinci Resolve 16 is up, but in the future we're gonna probably also do Movavi Video Editor and the Wondershare Editor and a tons of more editors and see which one is actually the best one, which features are included in that specific version that that version can do. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say, let's start comparing Vegas Pro 18 and DaVinci Resolve 16, obviously right after the intro. All right guys. So, as you can see right now, I have Vegas Pro open, and unfortunately, I cannot open DaVinci Resolve because I simply don't have the software. I didn't bought it, I didn't buy it yet. Maybe I will do because I can also create videos in that one. Make sure if you are up for a DaVinci Resolve 16 series. If the requests are high enough, I'll consider buying the DaVinci Resolve 16 program so I can create tutorials in. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you what the difference are. We're gonna do a little bit of research and see what programs are capable of. So, of course, this is Vegas Pro 18 open right here here and let's go to our browser for a second. So right now we are on Trust Radius. We have two columns and the one is from DaVinci and the other one is about Vegas Pro. So right here DaVinci Resolve is great and offers so many neat features like camera tracking, expansive control over your image color and an amazing noise reduction plugin. This is a great option for coloring. And I would recommend most production teams looking for a robust coloring software to look into Resolve and give it a go. It's worth it even though you'll have to break away from working in Premiere Pro etc. If you don't have have the money to pay for the full version it might be better just to use the free version which is still great it's a steal honestly and perhaps down the road pay for the full thing okay so right now we're on the website of davinci resolve 16 and of course What's very noticeable is that this software is essentially a lot more affordable than Vegas Pro 18 because right here, DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 includes everything in the free version plus DaVinci Neural Engine features, multi-user collaboration, stereoscopic 3D tools, dozens of Resolve effects and Fairlight effects plugins, HDR grading, film grain, blur and mist effects and more for only $2.99 compared to Vegas Pro, which is $5.99 and which is $2.50 if you already have Vegas Pro 17 and you want to upgrade and you're paying for example like a little less than the half of it so that's actually very very cool we also have like panels that you can buy to you know speed up your workflow but if i'm gonna be honest with you a couple panels right here are a little bit expensive the davinci resolve micro panel runs for just a thousand and twenty five dollars the davinci resolve mini panel runs for three thousand dollars and the top one the high-end one the davinci resolve advanced panel runs for a little over 30 grand and what's really cool is that they also have like a like a free version and i, th I don't know I'm not sure if this is like a free complete, you know, version instead of Vegas Pro where you have just like the trial, but let's just hit download now and let's see where it takes us. So I'm going to just pick Windows and I'm going to just fill in all my details. All right, guys. So we just downloaded DaVinci Resolve 16.2.5, around 1.3 gigabytes. Not too big. It just only took like maybe like 15 seconds to load. So let's just go ahead and install this real quick. I don't really think that, you know, DaVinci Resolve had like a free version because of course it has like this full, you know, paid option of like $2.99. So I wasn't really too sure if they would actually you know give us a free version but I'm, I'm not really familiar with DaVinci so I'm not sure if this is just a trial or let's just like a free standard version. All right so while DaVinci Resolve is installing right here it says DaVinci Resolve does color correction via masking really well. The mask tracking feature is much faster and accurate than similar software applications. These are strengths for DaVinci Resolve as they appeal to both to professional and amateur editor. DaVinci Resolve's free version is extremely robust. This means that anyone who is unsure about the software 
offer can really do an in-depth test run with the majority of features and evaluate if it's for them before making a purchase. DaVinci Resolve is user-friendly, is extremely easy to adjust default settings and customize your fades, transitions, etc. exactly how you want them. Rather than having to adjust each time you add them to the timeline, this is a strength for Resolve as it leaves users feeling more empowered and saves time. And compared to Vegas Pro, under the Pro's column it says it is easy to learn with patience, they are constantly upgrading the platform to keep up with the higher end analyse systems, it functions better when dual monitors are used, but a single screen is good if you don't mind moving the timeline functionality around. Okay, so right here we also have cons about DaVinci Resolve. So right here it says the interface can be confusing, not as well as integrated with the outside software as some competitors, noise reduction only available in the paid version. So if you want to reduce noise and everything, you gotta of course upgrade to the full version. If DaVinci Resolve wants to make money and the whole company behind it, of course they cannot give like the complete version and they all and like put all the you know the premium features into the free version otherwise nobody is going to buy the real version anymore of 299 and that's why they don't make any money and they're just literally just going to lose money by making that software because the developers have to get paid as well you know the time that's put in there they, it costs a lot of money to you know get the software created and all that so that's why they have to make it back in return and that's why it costs 299 so that's why they have a very limited version but we're going to just find that out in a minute all right, guys, so as you can see right now, it says welcome to DaVinci Resolve 16. We can choose to have a welcome tour or we can just pick like what's new. I'm just going to skip this tour because of course, it's, I'm not going to go in depth you know, in this entire video about the entire program. But right here, it says skip and start right now. Or you can just do a quick setup before jumping straight into a project. Let's make sure you're all set up. I'm just going to just skip that. And I'm just going to open up that software and see what it looks like. So this is basically also my first introduction into DaVinci Resolve because I've never looked into softwares further than After Effects, Premiere Pro, Wondershare, uh, the Movavi Video Editor, and, you know, Vegas Pro. This is basically what DaVinci looks like. It actually looks pretty similar to Vegas Pro. We have our preview top on the right. We also have our timeline at the very bottom. We also have our clips in the media pool where we can actually where we can actually like drop in our clips. At the bottom, we have our media our tab. We have our edit button, the fusion, the color, the far light. So this is of course the color grading, you know, panel what we can use. And of course, like, you know, in, when it comes to grading clips and making them look a little bit better, because let's say that you have, for example, like black magic footage, that footage like really, really plain and it just needs a little bit of grading. And that's where Resolve comes in pretty, pretty good because nine out of 10, if you're gonna use footage from any decent camera, you're not gonna just upload it somewhere without it being great. So that's really, really cool that you can also do that in this color tab right here. We also have our media where we can just go to all our drives and all that. We can also cut in our timeline. So if you're going to go to the top and we hit file, if you could click on the quick export button, we're kind of limited what kind of, you know, format we want to use because the only thing I think right now we can pick is H.264 with like a 1920 by 1080 resolution. The FPS is standard. Of course, we have audio. You can also upload it straight to YouTube or to Vimeo. You don't have that many choices when it comes to Vegas Pro where you literally have like so many different choices when it comes to your render format and all that. So, but I think on the first sight, it doesn't really, really look that complicated. I mean, we have a transitions button at the very top. We have the source of transitions, a blur dissolve, cross dissolve, smooth cut, and of course, in the titles, we have text in here. We have all kinds of effects such as blurs, zooms. So it doesn't really look that hard to learn. So I think this one is actually a very, very good software compared to Vegas Pro and let alone the official, the premium version, which is like 299, let alone what that version can do because this one is not really, really that difficult to learn in my eyes. All right, so right now we're on the Vegas Creative Software forums for a second. And right here, people really, really just ask like, why would we purchase Vegas Pro for hundreds of dollars if you can get Resolve for free or even less than Vegas Pro? And that's a really, really good topic. And the main answers are basically that Resolve Pro or Resolve Studio by DaVinci is no more thousand dollars because it was actually a grand for this software, but they also reduced it to 299. I am in communication with pre-sale technical support. According to them, you pay 299 once and all future upgrades will be free. You cannot beat that price for a professional analy. Below is a copy of email from Blackmagic. Right here, we have a response from X Burke. He 
says, I'm invested in Vegas Pro. I like it. I, it works for me. The cost is minimal compared to learning Resolve. If Vegas should stop working for me, then I might consider a switch. But right now, happier with Vegas than ever. Not to mention how sad I would be to leave all the terrific support I've had from everyone on this forum. So I think, guys, the end conclusion is that basically Vegas Pro and DaVinci Resolve are actually the closest ones to each other. Because, of course, last episode and the episode before that, we did Premiere Pro. The last one was After Effects. You really, really saw the difference that you cannot do certain things in Vegas Pro that you can do in After Effects because you would really need Vegas Image, Vegas Effects, and Vegas Post for that in order to achieve what you want to achieve in After Effects. But this comes actually pretty, pretty close. Now, when it comes to masking and all of these things, of course, you just got to, you know, purchase the full version, just like you would also use like to the noise reduction. That's all included in like the full version, but it does the job quite well. I'm 100% certain and I'm, I'm just going to look into the software, you know, off recording and see if I can make any videos on it because I think this is kind of a, like a rising program uh, at this point because of course many many people you know prefer different softwares and I think if I'm going to make videos about the Vinci Resolve you guys can also get your hands on that one because it's not really really that expensive if you compare it to like you know certain programs that the developers even just decided like all right this software is going to be too expensive to make people make a one-time payment for example Premiere Pro and After Effects it could be over a thousand dollars and this is just two nine nine which is kind of affordable in my opinion. All right guys, so this is the comparison Vegas Pro 18 versus DaVinci Resolve, at least the free version for now. I might get like the 299 version and just see what the really difference are and if I can get the most out of Resolve and see what Fit Resolve can do in comparison what Vegas Pro can do. So if you guys enjoyed this mini series and if you want to request your editing software that you want to see, whether it's Movavi, it's Wondershare, any kind of software, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys want to see the video, it's about Premiere Pro and After Effects that we compared to Vegas Pro. You can just see these cards throughout the video and also the outro card in the outro. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.